Hey guys, welcome welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Ananda. I just wanted to give y'all like a four month lock update. Also, don't mind, you know, the cocoa melon plant in the background and this little toddler right here. That's my son, Royal. If y'all aren't new to my channel, then y'all already know that. But just for the new people, we just gonna go ahead and like jump right into the video. Not gonna waste no time. So the first thing I want to say that I have noticed um, like change in my hair. So I've definitely noticed bunching and like um, a lot of my locks have actually started to lock um, like in the back. I noticed I'll put like a close up clip. I'll add it into the video whatever. It's kind of hard for me to show y'all right now because I can't really see and I know I know the camera's not going to focus. Even though I'm gonna add in another clip, let me just show y'all right now what my hair is looking like. So, one thing that has not changed is the frizz. The frizz is still here, very much so. Um, one thing that I have been doing to help with like a lot of the loose hairs is. If y'all can't see if it's not focused, I will insert a clip because <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to show. I wanted to show y'all one that was bunching a lot. I think, is it this one? But like, see, like my hair is all this right here is locked. All this from here down is locked. This still kind of has like a little two strand twist pattern to it and this is like the, the part that I was talking about that's bunching this right here or y'all tell me if y'all think that's bunching I think it's bunching I, it was a better one that I had that I found I don't know if I'm gonna find it again I didn't even finish my sentence. So what I was saying about the frizz, what I have been doing to help with a lot of the frizz, I'm sorry. Hopefully y'all hear me because he's he just wants to talk when I'm talk when I talk. You see all this like hopefully y'all see like those loose hairs. That's frizz basically. So what I'll do is I'll take the loose hairs and I'll literally just like wrap them wrap it around the lock and i don't need no criticism in the comments about what i'm doing wrong or oh you're not supposed to be doing this you're not supposed to be doing that i don't want to hear it <laughs> like suggestions are cool but don't tell me what i need to do like don't tell me what to do okay constructive criticism that's cool but coming on here and telling me oh you're not supposed to be doing that you need to do this you need to do that i don't want to hear it I also wanted to kind of vent about this a little bit like one thing that has kind of been annoying to me is like trying to explain my lock journey or like the different phases of my locks to people who don't have locks who've never had locks who don't who aren't informed about locks I gotta see and explain like my hair looks like this right now because it hasn't matured yet it hasn't reached a certain stage yet it's gonna take time to lock it looks like twist right now because they are twist but they're called starter locks as it matures it's going to get thicker the texture is going to change like trying to explain that to somebody who doesn't know anything about locks or who isn't like going through the journey or doesn't have any locks or anything is so annoying because they looking at you like what are you doing to your hair it's just annoying it's really annoying that's also why i have decided 
to do these type of videos record my hair as it's going through the different phases like I try to do close-ups of my hair so that people can see the changes as the months go along like my hair is gonna look completely different than it does right now a whole year from now like, I'm gonna include some pictures and some videos that I have taken of my hair you know over the past two months so you guys can see different styles that I've been doing to my hair so I really just wanted to include a picture of how I used to do my two strand twist before I decided to lock my hair I really loved doing my hair in a style because it was very low maintenance and I could just leave my hair alone for a couple weeks like this was really a protective style and y'all I'm still rocking the high ponytails with my starter locks this is like my go-to style whenever my hair is not really looking fresh anymore I just like to throw it up into a ponytail and I attempted to do barrel twist y'all it doesn't really look like a barrel twist I'm gonna retry it one of these days but it's still cute And this is pretty much how I like to wear my hair to the gym. Um, I've also decided to keep the ends curly. So a lot of my ends, they start to like bunch. So to prevent that, I literally just pull at the ends and like stretch them so they don't like bunch up and lock. Um, and then I also, I just take my finger, twirl it around the ends with some water. Um, I haven't put like conditioner or anything in my hair. One thing I also wanted to talk about was um, build up on my scalp. I work out a lot lately. I've been working out a lot lately. And I've been doing a lot of researching on like build up on your scalp and like dandruff and things like that. And I was reading that your scalp can produce something called sebum let me make sure i'm pronouncing that right yes yeah, sebum the scalp produces a natural waxy oil called sebum from glands beneath the skin some people produce more of this oil than others so i noticed that i produced a lot of it and the issue i was having was that i was adding oil into my scalp and i was i thought i was experiencing dandruff because my scalp was dry but putting more oil in my scalp was making the dandruff worse. And I didn't understand that until I researched it. And I was like, the sebum that your scalp produces is like once it dries and then you scratch your scalp and all that, like it flakes. And that's what the dandruff is that I was seeing. I was watching some videos on YouTube and someone was showing how they just mixed apple cider vinegar and some lemon juice and they took like a microfiber towel you know soaked it in the mixture and then you rub it on the area wherever you're seeing the buildup and it gets it off so i tried it and it actually worked i've also stopped adding oil onto my scalp like extra oil the only time i put oil on my scalp is when i first got out of the shower after i washed my hair right before I retwist and I retwist with oil but I don't put the oil on my scalp when I retwist. I'll take some oil, rub it on my hands like this and on my fingertips, I'll go into my scalp and I'll rub on my scalp and that's it. And I've noticed a big difference. I'm not experiencing as much dandruff. What I wash my hair with is the Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Hemp Soap. I believe is what it's called I don't put any conditioner I don't use any gels or waxes I started off with aloe vera gel using that to retwist the only time I use aloe vera gel now to retwist is around the like perimeter around the edges of my hair but basically I just put I didn't do any measurements honestly like I put like this much apple cider vinegar I just squirted like half of a lemon in it and I put like just like a couple drops of water so it's not so strong um because my scalp is a little tender right now because I've been scratching it and I knew that it was gonna burn the moment I put this on so all I've been doing is I'll feel wherever I feel the buildup at 
and then I, I just literally rub it on. I don't want to get close up and let y'all see what it really looks like because But I wanted to show y'all how I be retwisting my hair a little bit. And the products and stuff that I use. I have a lot of marrying as y'all can see. But like, it's definitely locking. So right now I'm using this lock hydrating hair mist. I got this product from my mom. She gets her hair done by a loctician. <clears throat> she has sister locks, but the lady sells these products. The name of her business is Mel Melanin Locks. This is also her oil as well. The Grow Hair Elixir. So when I retwist, now lately I've been liking to do the two strand twist. Like with the locks. To hold it in place I don't ignore the background please please ignore it I don't leave the the twist in once my hair is dry I take the twist out but I just don't the clips be very annoying to me like but I'm having to like pop here I guess they're, they're, it's called popping your locks where I have to like pop some of the little strands because they have connected to other locks. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I hope I remember to it, talk about everything that I wanted to talk about. If you like what you see, obviously if you're still watching at this point, you like something about me, you like something about the video, so you might as well subscribe, like why not? It doesn't cost anything, it's free. Just click the little red button and that's it. But yeah, I, I really appreciate when y'all subscribe to me, when y'all like the videos, when y'all comment. I try to reply to everybody's comments. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.